Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Newspaper journalist Maza Mahmoud, known as the fake sheikh, has been jailed for 15 months for tampering with evidence during the drugs trial of the pop star Talisa Contostavlos. A number of other celebrities who claim they were victim of Mahmoud's stings and jailed as a result are now trying to have their convictions overturned. David Silito reports. The man with his face hidden behind the hood is Maza Mahmoud, the fake sheikh, the king of the tabloid sting. He would pose as an Arab sheikh and he lured dozens of people to do or say things that made them front page news. Many ended up in prison. Today, he was the one heading for jail. A 15 month sentence for lying, manipulating evidence, trying to get the singer Talisa convicted on a drugs charge. Outside court, one of his former victims, the actor John Alford, read out a statement. We now know that Majid Mahmood is a manipulator of evidence and a serial perjurer. This goes to show no one is above the law. Behind him, others who've been stunned by the fake shake. He's a con man. He's a nasty con man. He's not a journalist. He's a nasty con man. Did you ever expect this day? No, I never did. I always thought that we, the little people, would never get, you know, get the truth out there. Um, and it's a great day for us. Now, many of the criminal cases are under review. There have been many convictions. Over the years, he's boasted about how many people he's helped send to prison, sometimes based almost entirely on evidence from Maza Mahmoud. He has now been sacked by the Sun on Sunday, but some wonder why it didn't happen sooner. It was 28 years ago that he left his job at the Sunday Times after being accused of lying. He was soon back a star of Rupert Murdoch's News of the World. His former boss always felt there was something wrong. The warnings were there. The warnings were there for the police, who continued to assist him. The warnings were there for News International, who continued to employ him. And I found it astonishing that he wasn't found out sooner. And of course, all this follows the hacking scandal. The government said there will be a second part to the Leveson inquiry, an investigation into the press and the police. This conviction has only added to the demands for that inquiry to finally take place. David Silito, BBC News. Now, he was the King of Sting, the reporter who brought in scoop after scoop after scoop for the news of the world and the sun on Sunday. But tonight, Maza Mahmoud is behind bars. The investigative reporter, known as the fake sheikh for his elaborate disguises, is beginning a 15-month jail sentence for tampering with evidence in the collapsed drugs trial of pop star Talisa Constant-Stavlos. News UK sacked Mr Mahmood after sentencing. I've been 